hello everyone and welcome to another Black Ops 2 video. This one I am showing you a round I did on Hardcore Domination. I'm using the Vector, as you can see I've got the Diamond Camo on it, as I've completed all submachine sub guns now. Um, so I thought, you know, I might as well give the Vector a go, there you go. I've got a really quick triple kill, so I thought, you know, this, this, this game could uh, be quite fun. So I was um, running VTOL... Um, Stealth Chopper and Warthog, I think it was. So, um, I was tr I was trying to get all three of them. Obviously, I was going to take the game quite steadily. I wasn't going to rush or anything. I was going to sit back, try and watch their spawn and um, watch them as they're coming out and just kill them off before them even knowing it. Because, obviously, they'll be running out trying to get B. Um, not expecting me to be out on their balcony. So, I was... Um, had a good viewpoint over them. Now with this class I run Scavenger and Shock Charge which is a really good combination that I like to use. It's um, it's the main combination I use when I'm trying to get a high kill streak because I'll have that there between both of the doors and obviously I'll get a little hit marker when someone, run past, someone runs past it so I know someone's there and um, then I'll quickly run out, I'll kill them pick up another shock charge and then just put it in the same spot so it's a really good tactic that works for me and I was running the rocket launcher as well so he didn't know where I was even though I was running ghost but I um, I still took down everything just in case um, I was stood still while I was on the balcony so he wouldn't be quite sure where I was but um, this gun I find quite good for hip fire. the reason I used it um, on this map was because I thought, you know, I'm going to be running around. I'm going to need to be hip firing pretty quickly. So I, I loaded this with laser sight, which is a really good attachment, and quick draw, which um, are two really good p attachments I find for this gun. To probably two of the best for um, hardcore. Uh, every gun I use on hardcore, I always use laser sight and quick draw, just because it's um, in this game mode, it's whoever shoots first instead of whoever um, whoever it is that can put the most bullets on target like in core so this one it's really you want to be putting quick draw on to be able to aim up quickly and have laser sight on as well just so you can get your bullets on target um, now as you can see I'll get my warthog in warthog is a good score streak to run but it also can be a bit of a bitch on hardcore because you do end up killing a lot of your team with it which I do feel bad about but at the same time it's sort of I'm getting a lot of kills I've worked for it so it's not so bad and as you can see my little tactic works there it always it's a good work it's always a good work rate apart from when someone has tack mask on and uh, I'm out there they can just run past it and then I sort of won't know whereabouts in the room they could be they could be laid on the floor or something so that is the only flaw in the tactic but Apart from that, it does work really well. Um, now, a lot of you people probably think this is camping. <laughs> that's, that's my excl explanation for it. Um, yes and no. I find camping... Camping, to me, the definition of that is where you're sitting in the corner and you're not moving. This, to me, is holding down a room. It's two, I find two different things. When someone's holding down a building, I think... Fair enough, because they're going to be running up from the bot top window, bottom window, just changing their uh, their sort of viewpoint in the place. Camping off on this way, you're just sat in the corner and not moving for the whole damn game, and just keep continually going back there. Now, um, as soon as I die up in that room, I usually just switch up to a different position. I usually go work underneath, or I'll go work around the side, and just where I'm shooting there, I'll sort of sit there looking down the alleyway. So I'll always switch my position up until I die. Um, I, I sort of stay in the position, then I die and I switch it up again. Now as you can see, this is a bit nasty what I do. I kill my teammate purposely here, just because I thought, you know, if he's not there, it'll probably give them that spawning point. Unfortunately, my uh, my plan didn't really work, and they <laughs> continued spawning up there, and um, I didn't actually get that many kills with the VTOL, because um, they just sort of sat in the building and underneath that bit, so it was a bit difficult to kill anyone. But I still got a good amount of kills from it, and I managed to finish the round flawlessly, which is the first round I've ever done fully on domination without getting a kill. Uh, without getting a kill, bloody hell, no! Without getting a death, bloody hell, no! Yeah, that would be pretty bad doing a round without getting a kill. No, 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 no. <laughs> so I, uh, I managed to complete the round without getting a, a death. Managed to do the round 
fully kills with about I think it was 38 of the score sheet will come up in a minute but I know I didn't get an amazingly good score but I know my KD ratio is damn good so um, that's what was more impressive about this video than anything so there you go 37 for nothing so um, that's the end of this video guys if you did enjoy this then do leave a like do subscribe um, and follow me on Twitter I'll be back again soon with more cheers for watching speak to you all again soon bye bye